okay, we'll work out two for this week. Uh, you'll need your dumbbell, your band, your slides, your ball. Um, I'll let you know if you need something else. Okay, so here we go. First thing is going to be reverse lunges. And again, on this workout, you're doing four sets of everything. Twelve reps, okay? So, first thing you're doing is you reverse lunge. You do your slides. You can hold dumbbells if you want. You're going to make it harder for you. And I think I suggest you do hold them. Okay. So just reverse lunging, sliding back, nice deep lunge, straight down, the knees going through your heel, not over your toe. So 12 on that leg, switch to 12 on your other leg. Okay, then you can do a band row. So you can take your band, choke it around an object. You're going to have to stand back so that you get good resistance on your band. I don't have a lot of room here, but you want to stand, I stand over here. Put yourself in a nice position where you're nice and tight. Everything's tight. Your butt's tight. Your stomach's pulled in tight. And you're pulling the one side. Squeeze. Hold it for two or three seconds and release. Squeeze. Release. Remember, just with this, when we do rows or any kind of thing, you want to keep your shoulders square. You don't want to be turning into that. Keep your shoulder square. Okay? Hold for two or three. Release. Twelve on this arm. And then switch arms. Ball on that arm, okay? And then you're going to do a ball crunch with that band that you have choked. So you need your ball. You need to have tension on your band, okay? So you lay on your ball, and you can choke your band up a little bit to keep the resistance on it. And all you do, you're just sitting up, holding that band. Not a big movement. You can pull yourself out. You still have a lot of room here. Pull yourself out a little more weight to get more resistance on the band. Don't pull your arms over. Your arm just stay. You're just lifting up a little bit. Okay? Twelve of those. That's your first circuit. Do four sets of those. One after another. No rest. Then you can rest a minute before you go to this next one. The next circuit is going to be deadlift. Uh, with your dumbbells, um, push-ups, we're going to do push-up hold, we'll do it on, on a bench, if you're next round, I have to do it on the floor, and then we'll do a ball stir. So the first thing is deadlifts, with our dumbbells, you can go, you know, don't be worried about going a little bit heavier than your dumbbells, because you're not lifting them, you're just holding them. But remember, this deadlift, your knees are soft, you don't have to be stiff and, and like your knees locked, they're soft. And you're sitting back, pushing your butt back, sliding those dumbbells right down your legs. You can close your legs. Keep your chest out, shoulders back. Head neutral. I don't want you looking back like this or down. Just kind of keep your head just neutral. You feel that down your hamstrings, push your butt back. I think of driving your weight through your heels. Okay, do 12 of those. And then you can do push-ups. Now, still can't do a push-up on the floor like a regular push-up, I want you to get a bench or a chair and you'll do it on the bench. On a straight line. Like that, I want you to hold it for three, four, five minutes. Okay, this is going to make you stronger. It's going to help you with your push-ups. If this is too hard to hold it like that, don't hold it for so long. You know, cut it down. Just hold it for two seconds. If your bench or chair is still too hard for you, then go up. Try to get something a little higher. You can go out on stairs, you know, and start there and work your way down. You know, until eventually you'll be doing them like four. So that's, you went 12 of those, though. And then the last thing we're going to do in this circuit is um, ball stir. So you need your ball. The plank on the ball, and we're kind of stirring. It's called like a pauldron stir or a pot stir, or whatever. So remember, you're, you're um, in your position for your plank. You're nice and straight. Everything's tight, and you're just stirring. So this set, the first set, you'll stir like to the left. The next time, stir to the right. 
try to do like 8 to 10, excuse me, 8 to 12 stirs, okay? So that's that circuit. So do four of all those, and you can rest a minute, minute and a half. And our last circuit, we do a band walk. So if you have this little bitty band, you can use this. If you don't have the room to walk, you can just walk, like step back and forth like this, which is what I'm going to have to do. But if you can walk down the length of a room, you know, doing like 12 to 15 steps one way and then coming back, that'd be good. So when you do this, remember, your feet are apart, that distance. Sit back a little bit like you're doing a squat. So you're pushing your butt back. Shoulders, you know, your chest stays up. And you stay in this position and you're just walking. Stepping back and forth. Okay? So if you're doing 12 or 15 on each side, you know, that's 25 to 30 total. Okay? And the next thing you're going to do are um, lateral raise and front raise. So on this, you want to use a lighter dumbbell, maybe 8 pounds, 10 pounds at the most. And you're going to alternate between lateral raise and front raise. That's one. Lateral raise, front raise, two. And you do that, you know, 8 to 12 times. It might be kind of hard to get to 12 on that because it is a double exercise. If you do 8, that's fine on that. Okay? And then the last thing in this circuit is a jackknife. What you do on this, you're in like a push-up position, your feet on the ball, and what you want to do is pull, keep your hips up, remember don't let them drop like that, don't stick them up way high, just nice and, nice and level and tight, pull your knees into your chest. Okay? So 8 to 12 of those. Okay, got it. Um, and that's that. So go through that circuit four times. Uh, that's it for today's workout. Let me know how you do.